Sally and Colin Square are looking forward to Christmas at home. Not the mobile home at the end of the garden where they've lived for most of the year, but their real home, which was ruined in the floods. Well, at least a foot, if not two foot there. But I mean, when you consider that field over there, it looked like a lake as far as you could see. Last winter, this part of Somerset became a water world. Sally and Colin were eventually persuaded to evacuate their home on Christmas Eve. There was no there alternative. Carpet, carpets you know, there, there, there wasn't that all. You didn't get a choice in the matter. You were just lucky if you had some friends around who salvaged you. Mm -hmm. You know, and without them, I don't know what we'd have done. People from around the country raised more than £1.3 million for the Somerset flood victims. And a little bit of that is being spent here in Sally and Colin's home. Rivers have been dredged and widened, but don't be fooled by today's sunshine. Days of rain have made the rivers rise and dredged up the same old fears. And some people watching will think, why don't they just move? You're joking. <coughs> How the hell would one sell a place with people? The first thing they'd ask, does the water come over the top? You know, what do you do? You, you can't move. No. No. no, not at our age, not now. They are simply grateful to all those who donated money and time to help them. So how important is it, psychologically, mentally, to be back in here for Christmas? Very, very <laughs> much so, very much so. Smashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely yeah, lovely. Yeah. It looks like it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah. we've been told, yeah. so we've just got to believe in them now. <laughs> Waterworld has dried out a bit, but there's no guarantee it won't happen all over again. This couple, though, have a Christmas homecoming wish, and you can be sure it will come true. Simon Viger, 5 News, on the Somerset Levels.